back road or something. Don't mind the wind noise and crack this window here. So you blow the smoke out of this thing. Seems to be uh going pretty uh pretty consistent, not canoeing yet. Running as people call it. Oh yeah. This is a pastime I like to do is a little uh driving around enjoying a duper enjoying the nature maybe we'll see some deer out here it's a it's a relaxing thing for me i'm gonna crank this other window this maybe won't be as loud yep oh, see him go a little too fast we want to go uh slow on these roads you want to get on a road where there ain't gonna be a hundred people behind you or nobody behind you got me one of these uh lattes right here from sheets Enjoying this too. Ah, pretty good. Pretty good. And these are the times right here where you start to realize, start to look at life and step back and go, damn, you know what? I got it pretty good. I got it pretty good. <coughs> <coughs> now, uh, pretty good depends on what your dreams and ambitions are and stuff. Different people have different pretty goods, but uh, this right here is a pretty good for me. Just cruising around, maybe see a buck out here, see a nice, huge buck, a nice rack on it. Hell, that would, that would make the whole trip worth the whole drive and everything. But hell, it's gonna be worth it anyways. But I'm just saying, that'd be a cherry on top right there. So up there's some old shit. Up there's an old barn or something they let break down. Oh yeah. Smoking this uh, Clubber Lang right here because it uh, kind of rolled pregnant, but it's not pregnant. It's just pH 18, pretty hot and tempting, more than it is fat. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. All right. Uh, pretty good, pretty good. Now, depending on this little uh, high road, high ride route, route, this little high ride route right here. Depends upon uh, you know how much you're smoking. You got yourself a little duber. You might want to take the uh, first route. You might route A, but you might want to detour off of right into route B. It was just an extension of A. If you got a big clubber line like this, or uh, you're talking, or you want to smoke more, whatever the hell it is, we'll take you up there too. This right here is just the uh, initial one. This is a lightweight ride right here. We're coming up on it. Really hoping these glasses work out. So, uh, in the mail yesterday, I got me, uh, for anybody that cares, got me uh, the iMac that Clint got me for my birthday. Or not for my birthday, just for being a friend. It wasn't even my birthday. It's just being a cool guy. He got me an iMac, same thing as his. Um, I've been trying to get that up to the point where it's exactly, you know, where the same as working there and my workflow is the same hold on we gotta be careful up here there's a wall up there let's see whoa there's a school bus school bus all right we're gonna go down here oh there's another school bus jesus christ all right i didn't see them coming the last people you want to wreck into is a damn school bus having lawsuits and shit anyways i think he was flying around the corner pretty quick but anyways shout out all the school bus drivers but the point is but what am I saying here? Hold on, I'm, I'm a damn duper went out. Oh, that commotion. So, uh, what else? Here's a here's Route B. Though. This is the extension of Route A. Oh yeah, so I got all this stuff. So finally, took a damn full week to get here. It was uh, I got me the little connection for the monitor, so now I can have two screens, and I can edit on two screens. And anybody who edits knows how uh how much of a pain in the ass it is to edit on one screen. And then I got some shit to hook up my iMac to it, or, or my mini Mac to it, and kind of use that as a storage device. Kind of wrap my head around that, trying to figure that out exactly how I'm gonna do that, um, what the uses will be, stuff like that. You gotta, you gotta wave at people. You gotta show people respect. I don't know who that guy is, but I imagine he's a good guy out there getting his mail see 
wave that person to. I don't know who the hell they are. They probably thought I was nuts. But you say people, you be kind to them out here in these areas. That's a good thing about country. You know, there's a lot of kindness and respect. You know, there's a lot of not kindness and respect. But there's also kindness and respect. So anyways, what I'm saying is getting my iMac computer editing music station all together. And then I set up my uh, stuff for my, uh, what the hell you call it, my beat making and stuff. Got all these records and stuff. Got that all set up to start compiling, kind of going through some things. I'm going to start collecting stuff off the records, getting rid of the bullshit, keeping the good stuff. So, a lot of shit's been going on. And that's why, really, uh, you know, and then Clint's got his whole, whole thing going on, too. Uh, you know, little, uh... It's just like anybody's life. You got a re little readjusting that's going on. Nothing drastic or nothing, but a little readjusting. And you got to figure out, uh, you know, how it's going to work from there. And then, bam, it's, it's back good to go. You got to, that's the thing in life, kids. You got to be adaptable. Well, kids, you probably shouldn't be watching this. But anybody's watching this. You got to be adaptable. You know? Um, things may happen, things may change, things go through mutations and stuff, but it ain't such a bad thing. There's a lot of beautiful things that come out of these mutations and stuff. But anyways, enough of that. Uh, we are working on a uh, little uh, short film slash movie. I don't know what the hell it's going to be, but uh, I kind of want to flex some of those muscles too. So uh, there's a guy there with the four-wheeler. See what I'm saying? Living country. Living in the country. So anyways... Yeah, uh, just working on a movie, too. So that's a lot of time, a lot of energy being put into that. But uh, this is kind of like my little ride. Hold on here. This car's going to think I'm nuts. So uh, we're going to be working on that stuff. And uh, we'll be getting that out. Or, I mean, what I'm saying is I'm going for this little ride to get my mind prepared. And then I'm going to go back and edit and get some more stuff out. That's exactly what I'm trying to say. Alrighty. Well, it's been a pretty good ride. You know, I might want to turn around up here maybe. And give her the uh, the old looper. And then that way I'll be closer. But, uh, shit, we'll just keep going. I mean, I don't know when these glasses are going to turn off. But we'll keep going. Give them a full test here. Um, oh yeah, but I do want to say, I was thinking about this earlier, I've never been asked, nobody asked me anything, but uh, I, I just want to say, in my eyes, Clint, I think, is pretty much the uh, the brains of this operation, because, uh, you know, I do my own weird little things, stuff like that. You know, doing my little things and stuff. But Clint really, uh, you know, took uh, something that originally I was messing around with and really uh, put put some time into it and really uh, learned. Because um, basically, you know, I'm running around, got this camera, and uh, you know, we're filming stuff. Been filming stuff forever, you know, filming stupid little things, and uh, you know. Clint decides, you know, he wants to get into that kind of stuff too. Ends up getting some uh, decenter cameras and, uh, you know, slowly worked his way up and stuff and uh, really learned how to edit and stuff. And, uh, you know, I was just goofing around and stuff, but uh, I feel like Clint really took that little bit of goofing around and took it to a whole nother level. And then uh, I kind of am working to catch up with that. But just for the record, I think Clint is the brains of this whole thing and I uh, want to give him a lot of props for that. And, uh, you know, getting me a Mac and stuff, allowing me to be able to edit from home and all this stuff. Just, you know, throughout all time, he's always been a, you know, real supportive friend, helped me out um, in any way he could, in any way he could, stuff like that. And, uh, you know, maybe taking some of my ideas that are dumb and probably wouldn't work out and uh, make some better. So I just, you know, really appreciate that. Anyways, see, I'm feeling that love, you know. I haven't even uh, smoked this whole Uber. Uh, you know, it's starting to put my mind into reality. And, you know, any damn way. Let's get off of that shit. This is Jim Bob McClain. And uh, I don't know if anybody's even going to be watching this. Good damn. 
channel ch channel kicked off for smoking a doer here, which isn't legal here. I might add. So, anyways, uh, all right. So, the hell, my I don't know what I was talking about before any of this stuff. Started getting into some emotional stuff, I'm crying right now. Oh, the video game channel, I guess. I'll talk about that. That was something, um, is something, you know, it still exists and everything. Something that, uh, we made to mess around, have a video game channel and stuff. And, uh, I'm doing walkthroughs and stuff. Once again, getting all my shit together. Even getting that stuff set up a little better. So I might be able to do live streaming, talking to other people and stuff. But, uh, you know, we got a bunch of, here's, here's what it boils down to. We got a million and one plans. But there ain't enough time in a damn day to uh, achieve all these plans. So we got to kind of pick things we want to focus on, especially at this point, and, uh, you know, really get into them. So at the end of the day, I really feel like, the, you know, it's, it's going to be, because last year we went hardcore, at least in the beginning of the year, and uh, oh, pretty much the whole year. We went hardcore, five videos a week. Um, you know, and whenever you do that, even though I think they got amazing quality to them, um, you start losing quantity. Or no, no, no. With quantity, sometimes you lose a little bit of quality. Not saying they're not, not they're not all quality videos from last year. I'm just saying, um, you know, you can only put so much time and effort into each thing whenever you got so much shit to do. So I feel like we've come to a point now where we've fucked everybody in their face in a good way um, with all this content now we're kind of taking a step back and uh, focusing more on the quality on top of the quantity and uh, trying to make some more epic things because you know in my eyes I was telling Clint this I'm like oh man we you know we uh, if somebody was to ask people would probably say oh Jim Bob and Clint are uh, reviewers they review products they're product reviewers and, uh, you know, we do a million other, million other things, but, uh, you know, at the end of the day, our heart and souls are in, uh, you know, making, uh, I wouldn't say movies, but making shit like that. That's what we've always, always been into. Oh. Lost my damn shit. Maybe I didn't. All right, so there's a beep. It's still beeping. Not beeping, but it still is looks like it's still going so all right so what i'll say was you know we wanted to uh me and clint have always been into making shit making little movies and stuff we've always been into watching movies horror movies and different things like that so i think that's really uh not what we're going to turn this channel into or anything the whiskey drinker channel but it's going to be something we uh dabble a little bit more into if you guys have watched uh the set what the hell is that guy doing up there if you guys have watched, oh, there's a lady. If you guys have watched the Sasquatch Project, the Alien Hunter, um, and then the other Sasquatch one, those are kind of like movies, but they're uh, documentaries in a way. So they're not really movies. So, uh, you know, we any, any, any damn way. I think we're going to focus a little bit more on those and uh, still do what we're doing. But, uh, you know, that And I think, too, uh, going and uh, having a little tiny part in Brad Twig's movie, which we definitely appreciate. Uh, Fuzzy Monkey Productions. No, it ain't. Fuzzy Monkey Films. Check that out. Um, Death Board is what we're going to be in. That's the movie we're hopefully going to be in. Um, but anyways, I think going and seeing their setup and seeing them do their thing, it, uh, it kind of inspired both of us, you know what I mean? So I don't know, that's kind of what we're doing right now. Once, like I said, there's a little period in between um, where I'm trying to get everything on my computer so I can edit properly, get these videos out. And uh, yeah, so that's about it. Anyways, I guess we'll jam some tunes on the way back. I'll finish up this doober, enough talking. And uh, see you guys on the flip side.
Listen to radio. Listen to that. All right, we're gonna light up the cigarette. No, we got a new pack of cigarettes. Let's see. It. Oh yeah. All right. This is some Jim Bob leftover stuff. Done stuff. I've been hit so goddamn much that's why I lash my teeth. Living in a trash heap and I don't think that I'm all get out now. No, no, no. Oh yeah. All right. There's some cool stuff, some bad stuff. Uh-oh, this is a gem right here. Did you ever hear of a bandita? That damn bandita. Where's the story right here about a man? Living down by the West Times. He was the bandita. That's bandito. Oh, y'all out there that I say it wrong. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to tell you this story right here. Data. And I got a Nevada. I'm shooting at the later. Salt Peter out my gun like a damn later. Caught saber on the fall guy. I ain't no small fry. Yeah. I'm a band eater living like an outlaw. Coming to your town watching all your mouths fall. Yeah. I'm a motherfucking band eater. Band eater. I'm a badass son of a bitch I'll shoot you down with a flick of my wrist And you'll fall And i laugh Cause my brain ain't the same as yours And I'ma take me a bath Get my hair cut, beard trim Then go and meet me all types of women, yeah They like me cause I'm a bandita a bandito, yeah. He's a bandito, oh, oh. He's a bandito, the damn bandito. He's a bandito, he's a bandito man. He's a goddamn bandito. Hear more. Right into your town, get it down. Spurs in my boots, everybody moves, cause they know I don't fuck around, a bandito. Aiming low, brain is so stuck on death, it makes me dizzy. So I go, drown my walls in a big old bottle of whiskey. Make me frisky, make your move. Hand on my gun and I'm in the mode to hand out death, cause I'm evil. In the flesh, there be no sacred. I'm a goddamn bandito. Bandito. Pull out my gun, pull the trigger, and feel the shock to the receiver. Oh, I love it so well to feel my gun go off. I'm a band eater. I always got me a scam up under my pleader. Hey, I don't care what they say. Live my life in the way that I want to live. Shooting with the skills that I learned from a man that I met. He was 35. I was nine, he taught me how to shoot just fine, and now I go to your town, little village, use my gun, now I 
all in the village, everybody scared, running away, didn't want to see a bandana today, but they did, and I'm here, strike them all at the fair, backwoods in my mouth, then I got me a Marlboro in my ear, hey, I'ma go and shoot like hell, okay Corral, nobody can tell, nobody left but me and my ego, nobody left but the damn bandana, I'm the bandana, quickest draw in the goddamn country, motherfucker. Walking through the bar, walking past the dead bodies I seen that somebody still living, hiding from me I said, show yourself, motherfucker, best on stand in front of me And he came out a midget man Me and him struck a friendship and we became The damn bandita and his psychic midget man We toured this goddamn United States, kicking ass and taking names Needless to say, we had bags full of names.